Hello and welcome to the Football Fan Dots on the website that gives you insight from the inside. I'm still joined by Alan Gervishley, a former Premier League manager, Paddy Barkley, a well respected journalist, and Adam McCona from, it says here, Full Time Devils. Full Time Devils, Full-time YouTube Devils, channel. Subscribe. Clearly, uh, a Manchester United fan. <laughs> Uh, don't you live to that one. <laughs> uh, they'll be talking all we'll sorts of stuff. We'll be ripping stuff. Jason. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, we are talking about the controversial topic of under 21. Should they return from international, full international, from work to the squad, down into the under 21 squad, Gareth Southgate, that have qualified for the under, uh, mm. sorry, the 2015 tournament, under 21 in the Czech Republic next summer. The tournament runs from mid to end of June 2015, which allows them very little time for breaks after the tournament ends and, of course, when pre-season starts. Um, it's one of these topics, guys, that it rears its ugly head penny every yeah, now and then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Stuart Pearce has been very vocal about this, saying that keep the squad together as long yeah. as they possibly can, win together at under-21s and hopefully progress through into the full squad mm. uh, and win tournaments with them. This has happened with Spain, yep. happened with Germany. Yep. Um, I'm of the opinion that certain players should, certain players shouldn't. Oh, that's... Precisely my line. I think you, you really have to treat each case differently. Uh, factor in the number of games. I mean, if we start with Stuart Pearce's principle, which I think is a good one. If you got, uh, you know, something that you get with the League Cup, isn't it? You, you know, suddenly a, some a club like Arsenal finds themselves in the final, and they think, now, do we stick with the fringe players who have got us here, or do we bring in? You know, our top man. Top Arsenal head. in a final. <laughs> well, who, who are the FA? Bad one last year. Yeah. <laughs> top yeah. London off. I, I thought for a minute I picked a bad example because I remember the FA Cup final. But um, yeah, or do, do they do they bring in the stars um, to w- to win the final uh, for them? So, but basically, I agree with Stuart Pierce's principle. On the other hand, we have learned from. The, 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 the examples you mentioned, that it can be great experience, it can be maybe better experience for an under-21 player learning to play in a nucleus that you can take into the full side over the next year or two. Um, so I think it, it's got to be you know, taken as it comes. Let's, let's take Jack Wilshere, if he's still available. Jack Wilshere's still eligible for... Or let's take Callum Chambers, you know, because he definitely... Which one, Paddy? Come on. Uh, both. <laughs> if you take those players, if, God forbid, um, Callum Chambers, you know, twists an ankle and misses three matches, uh, <coughs> three months of the season, loses his place in the uh, full national team, then bang, make him eligible for the under-21 team. If, on the other hand, he has a great season with, with his club, plays all the way through to the Champions League final. And I know maybe I'm... <laughs> Champions League, <laughs> why not? <laughs> you me it gets better. Unrealistic. I mean, you wouldn't know me about the Champions League. Oh, good report. But let's, let's, uh, let's just suppose then, <laughs> then obviously what he will need in the summer is not a trip to the Czech Republic, but a rest. Okay, so take each the, game, the, take each okay, case as it comes. You're absolutely right. But for the sake of this conversation, there are certain players, in my mind, mm. that absolutely should be playing in this tournament. And there are one or two players that absolutely should for me, Jack Wilshere should no, be nowhere near the under-21 really tournament. Should. He has progressed, not just at club level, but international. He is now one of, if you pick that side for Royal Hudson, he is probably starting in midfield, everyone fit. Raheem Sterling's an interesting one because he's that much younger, but again, as we've already discussed, he's an integral part of Royal Hudson's squad. Callum Chambers, probably at this stage isn't. Luke Shaw, probably at this stage isn't. J- uh, Stones at Everton, Jack, uh, Ross Barkley, another one who has yet to really establish himself as a regular in Everton's midfield season in, season out. It's horses for courses, so how do, you, how do you work that out? We just had a, a really long conversation about uh, the trials and tribulations of Raheem Sterling, saying that he was tired before an England game. Mm-hmm. And so are we going to ask someone like Sterling to play a full season for Liverpool and then play for the full side, because they, they will have a couple of friendlies as soon as the season Okay, let me just stop you there. So he would have been away for the World Cup. This just happened. He then goes away with the under-21s next tournament. He then has the European Championships the following year. So therefore, a boy that's 19, 20, 21, three summers out of three has been away. He hasn't had a break. Had a and break. he's probably scratching two weeks here, two weeks there. So it's possible he's had over three years. The most he's going to have off is two months. Well, 
that's, that's the, the big problem. And as Paddy said, perhaps we've got to treat it as an individual thing, but then once you get into that situation, Gareth Southgate will be saying, well, no, this is the squad I want. I don't care about individuals, what they've done all year, etc. This is the squad I want. I think perhaps a firm rule should be, if you're in the full squad, you're in the full squad. And that is it. Mm. So if Roy Hodgson picks... Um, what if they're not playing, though? If Roy Hodgson picks yeah. Stones... What if they're uh, not playing? No, so I'm saying they're in the full squad at the end of the season when it comes to the, to the international friendlies because there's bound to be a couple. They play up till Ju June the 6th, I think. If they're playing for Roy, then I think, or they've been an integral part of the qualifiers, then I think they should stay with a full squad. I would, you know, you can't flog these players. Invariably, a lot of uh, Gareth Southgate's squad might not have been playing, so they'd, been, they'd still be quite fresh. But you've got to look at the, the adverse effect it could have. Now, I know the pluses. The pluses are the environment going off to, to perhaps winning a tournament. But if there's players like Jack Wilshere, who play a full season for Arsenal and play in every game for, for Roy Hodgson leading up to the summer, then I think he can't, he can't go. If it's uh, Stones of Everton, who is, is out injured at the moment, comes back perhaps takes another injury, and then at the end of the season, um, it's still relatively fresh, then he goes. I think it's going to be an individual situation, but if you're a fully-fledged member of Roy Hodgson's full squad, I don't see it so as so being fledged, right to drop so down. So fully-fledged is not only just being involved in the squad, but playing an integral part. Integral part. <laughs> you're talking about starters here, not just yeah, the bench? Yeah, starters. Okay, Adam, as, as a fan... Uh, the problem I have is that Roberto Martinez and, and Arsene Wenger have been asked this question, and both, without exception, have come out, and I understand the reasons why, but are protecting themselves and mm. the club, and saying instantly, without even thinking about the answer that Paddy and, and Fergus have just given, no, they should not go. There should not be a blanket over this. They should be viewed. But as a fan, mm. how do you look at this? Luke Shaw, you're a Manchester United fan. Luke Shaw will come into this category... Um, who knows how many games he's going to play this season? Who knows what involvement he's going to be for Royals? As a Manchester United fan, um, personally, if our players are being used, I, I don't care if they don't play for England. That's, that's me being honest because I'm a Manchester United mm. fan. Manchester United come first. But from a football perspective, I feel I kind of agree with Paddy and Alan in the sense that if somebody is a peripheral figure in that team, and, you know, like Wayne Rooney's or someone like that, for example, you know Wayne Rooney's going to come through and he's going to play a lot of games for England. But you mentioned Jack Wilshere as if he was a key player for England. In my opinion, Jack Wilshere's got a long way to go. Jack Wilshere is a fantastic talent. He's got great potential. He's got a footballing brain on him that not many English players have. But it's typical of the English mentality that we overboost this guy and say, he's too good enough for the under-21s levels. Why? Because if, you look at, if you look at Spain, and, Spain against Luxembourg, I'll go back to this. When they left that pitch, we can say what we want about Spain not doing well at the World Cup or whatnot. When they left that pitch, they had six or seven players that have won back-to-back under-21s and have been involved. You look at David De Gea when he was at... He was, he was one of the best keepers in La Liga for Atletico Madrid, come to Manchester United. He was still involved at under-21 level. Juan Mata was mm -hmm. your key player in winning mm -hmm. the European Cup. He was still involved at under-21 level. It seems like we get to this stage with players where we think, oh, yeah, they're too good enough. Why are they going back? But I think, or they I earn a certain that, amount of money and they think we're too it good gonna, enough. It's, how is it, see, I don't think it's just necessarily about the team progressing. I don't think Jack Wilshere is going to benefit anything from playing Premier League he football, will. Champions League football, full international Roy Hodgson and going to the 21st. International I don't football is not the same as club football, though. No, but and if he's played for Roy Hodgson the qualifiers for Euro 2016, how does, that, how does dropping down? And play, in my opinion, and, Roy Hodgson isn't giving the England players the best experience of international football they could be. England should be doing a lot better. I see potential coming through. Um, one of my friends is at, at Liverpool at the moment. He's an amazing, amazingly talented player, Jan Danda. And England have these players coming through. This excuse that we need to get smaller pitches and play with smaller things. No, we still have talented players. I know it's a different about, conversation, but under 21 level... I still think players, we need to take that seriously because we can see how competitors do that. What about Will Hughes of this world, who's a young boy at Derby, who's performing ever so well, who's earned his right and was man of the match recently in the game that they played? What if you bring Jack Wilshere down 
and therefore you then stop a young player like Will progressing. Therefore, he's taking the well, position. your best players play for your no, country? No, no, but at that 21 level. But at under 21 level, your best players that qualify at that age. But, but you're stopping I get, the, I get the I'm special through. exceptions, no, like your Wayne problem. Rooney's and so on. Yeah, exceptions that don't need to. The but not all these players are exceptions. The problem, I think, Adam, is is that we're talking in a way about football as if it was a beauty contest. You know, the, the, the nicest 11 players should be in the team. But, uh, I mean, it's curves are far better than any of us. It's a, it's a team game. And you learn to play together. If you if you suddenly, and this is what Stuart Pearce, I think, was, was, was alluding to, that if you dismantle a team, and bring in 11 maybe better players, you aren't going to end up with a better team, mm. necessarily. Yeah. But the other thing as well is, is, is what uh, Adam was talking about there, about uh, players playing. You've got to look at individual, what they've done in the, in the build-up to these finals. Because if they've not had a lot of football, then fine. But all the, we're talking about Spain, we're talking about Germany, they have midwinter breaks. Mourinho's mm. come out already this week and spoke about the midwinter break again. Mm. You know, because, you know... The European countries have the midwinter break and then they come back fresh for the knockout stages of the Champions yeah. League. Well, our players play all over Christmas every other day. Yeah. So you've got to take that into consideration, the workload on these players. So I think individually, I think Gareth Southgate, Roy Hodgson will look at each case individually. Now, would that be, would that be uh, what the managers want? You mm -hmm. know, if suddenly Ross Bartley gets picked because he's not played a lot of football for Everton and Jack Wilshere doesn't because he's played a lot of football for Arsenal... Then you've got a, you're going to have a problem, because yeah. Martinez will say, you know. So you've got to look at them as individuals. You keep the squad together by and large, and you cherry pick improvements mm. if you lose people or if people lose form. It's not really that difficult. I think, and especially as the, and I know you're not a great fan of Dinosaur Roy, but <laughs> the relationship between. Uh, the dinosaur and Gareth Southgate is actually yeah. something that I think is pretty good. And the, the fact that Berahino now, one of, one of the stars of the under-21 team, they might lose him for the best possible reason, because he might be going well, into that's the that's an sport. area that Roy Hodgson, I think, were particularly poor at. I mean, yeah. in terms of, I mean, Lambert, I don't think he's going to be good enough no. for, for the, no. the 16 tournament. No. No. I think Berahino is a natural replacement Absolutely. to him. Danny Welbeck and Sturridge yes. look like they've got a better formation together than Wayne England Rooney. So that's an area that... that three lovely centre-forwards coming. Did you just say Daniel Welbeck and Daniel Sturridge Daniel. over Rooney? Oh, well, yes. Well, the, the, the partnership, definitely. Wow. I think that's a... I think that's a I think that's a, a, an area that... that He's like, what, well, because Rooney can play anywhere. That's a different yeah. topic. Rooney can play anywhere. We're trying to compliment the yeah. Man United man. Wayne Rooney really can't play anywhere at all. Mm. But a different subject anyway. Indeed. <laughs> so, are we, are we, are we all in agreement that actually it's horses for courses? And this yeah, is a... a you, can't, so. you can't just have a blanket over yeah, the under-21s no. yeah. that depends on how they're doing. And as you said, no, there, no. if it turns out that Ross Barkley returns and plays every single game for Everton in the club... For, Tournament at the Premier League, Europa League, and then becomes an integral part of Roy Hodgson's squad in, in qualifying. Yeah. That he then loses out, mm. but it mm. comes down to games played for club and yeah, country. Yeah, yeah, I think they got away. I've that always the, thought as well. A possibility would be if a player's played X percentage of games for their first team or for the first national team, then maybe they should be excluded from selection. But if someone that I think in England we build people up far too quick, yes. then we should. Um, and that's why I think people like Jack Wilshere, they need that, that training in under 21, especially at international level, at club level. Yeah, you're going around Europe, you're learning different styles and so on for your club. Mm. But, and another problem with our country is we've got no philosophy, we've got no identity, we've got no, you know, under 21s play the same way as the first team. Do, do they? I don't know. Do, well, do that's you, again, it's a topic. You know, do, do they have to? Like, I think personally, we need to have an identity. And if we had players that, respected the under-21 level and I thought, you know what, this is part of my education and, okay, maybe I'm not a Wayne Rooney or someone that's going to go straight into the first team and I should, yes, I'll, I'll get 30 field, minutes here and there for the first the team and then drop back. Seen Stephen Gerrard and Frank Lampard retire and move on. Therefore, yeah. there has to be a natural replacement in there and te technically, I think Jack Wilshere is one of the best players. Yes. Injuries have stunned his career. We'll find out how he's... Attitude uh, how he, as well. He's go, he goes on. Uh, Adam, thank you very much for joining us. Paddy, Curbs, thank you. Of course, you just heard what we've had to say. But what do you think? It's over to you. Your chance to have your say. Many different ways of getting in contact with us. You go know, via the website, uh, footballfan.zone, or you can tweet us directly at Talk2FanZone.